In this video, we'll teach you how to replicate a GTA logo animation in Wondershare Filmora. First, drop the default title onto Track 1, change the font to Blippo Black, and size to 350. Enter VI in Roman. Click on Advanced, change text spacing to minus 1. Turn off the fill effect, and turn on the outline. Change the outline color to white and thickness to 15. Click on Apply. Then, change the scale to 102 and X to 2. Next, go to the effects and find Gradient Tint under the new Blue FX Filters folder. Apply it to Track 2 for 10 seconds. In the effects settings, change the first tint color to purple and the second tint color to orange. To create a ray effect similar to the original logo, go to Boris FX and apply the BCC Rays Cartoon effect to Track 3. In the effects settings, Change Cartoon From to Blue, Line Thickness to 4.90, Smooth Detail to 0, Cartoon Threshold to 0, and change the Edge Color to Purple. In the Light Source, change X to 0.45, Intensity to 355, Ray Length to 200, Ray Style to Fat, Expand the Custom Look, Change the Color to Image, and Texture to Strings. Set Texture Intensity to 134, Keyframe Intensity at 1 second and 10th frame to 355. Then, at 3 seconds and the 15th frame, change the intensity to 0. Now, to create multiple titles for the final title, duplicate the default title from Track 1 to Track 4. Click on Advance, change Text Spacing to minus 3, and turn on the Fill. Change Color to Black, and turn off the Outline. Then, adjust the scale to 105 in the video settings. Now, duplicate the title from Track 4 to Track 5. Set the starting point to 1 second and the 10th frame. Click on Advanced. Turn off the fill effect. Turn on the outline. Change the color to purple and thickness to 12. Then, go to the video settings and change the scale to 106. Set opacity to 0 at the start and at 3 seconds and the 15th frame, change the opacity to 50. Duplicate it onto Track 6 and keep it on Roman 5. Click on Advanced. Change Fill Type to Gradient. Keep the first color as orange. Add a middle point and change the color to pink. And for the last point, change the color to purple. Set the angle to 267 degrees. Then, adjust the scale in the video settings to 103 and the X position. Setting it to 0 initially. And at 3 seconds in the 15th frame, change the opacity to 100. Duplicate the default title again and change the text to 1 Roman. Then, adjust the X position in the video settings. Duplicate the default title from Track 6 to Track 8. Change the gradient's first color to light orange. Then, add another point and set a color similar to the first one. Add another point in the middle and change the color to pink. Add another point and set the color to pink again. Then, in the end, change the color to blue. Set the angle to 90 degrees. Unlink the scale in the video settings. Then change X to 99 and Y to 100. Finally, duplicate the title from track 7 to track 9 and change the gradient colors in the same way as we did for track 8's default title. Adjust any necessary positioning. Download a palm tree PNG from any PNG website for free. Place it on track 10 starting at the 2 second mark until the 10 second mark. Adjust its position to fit both Roman letters. Set the opacity to 18 at 3 seconds and the 15th frame on an opacity keyframe. Set opacity to 0 at the start. Next, drop the default title at 3 seconds and the 16th frame, lasting until 10 seconds. Change the font to price down and set the scale to 80. Enter the word great. Click on advanced. Change the fill color to white. Enable the outline. Set the outline color to black and thickness to 14. Add another text and change it to MVP, adjusting its position. Add another text and change it to Auto and adjust its position. Click on Apply. Go to the video settings and change scale to 82, adjusting the position. Convert it into a compound clip. Then, select Linear Mask from the Mask options. Set Rotation to minus 90. Adjust the Y position. Set Blur to 5 and turn on Position Keyframe. At 5 seconds, use the Y position to reveal the word. Drop a black color on a track for 1 second and the 10th frame. 
Select the linear mask. Set rotation to 90, Y to 284. Place the playhead at the 15th frame. Turn on position keyframe and set blur to 10. At the end, change the position of Y to reveal the main title. Go to effects and apply the auto enhance effect. Then apply the new blue FX auto pan effect from the elements folder. In the effects settings, change start zoom to 20 and zoom to 10 and set animation velocity to smooth. Now, render the project to see the preview. That's all for today. If you are interested in more visual effects, check out filmora.wondershare.com.